Ann-Charlotte Rudholm, also called Lotta, was born on August 9, 1974, in a small city called Hennesand, in the northern part of Sweden. She grows up with her parents and her two older sisters. People close to Lotta describe her as a kind and positive person who was liked by everyone and wanted the best for every person she met. She loved animals and keeping things neat as well as cinnamon buns and working out. She was also very close to one of her sister's children and was like an extra mom to them. When Lotta is 24 years old, she moves from Hennesan to Stockholm with her then boyfriend. They got a dog together that they named Echo and were together until 2010. During this time, she has studied to become an assistant nurse, but changes her mind and starts studying economics. Before her death, she was working as an economic assistant in Stockholm. In late February 2016, she is contacted by a man on Facebook called Martin, who says he found her through a Facebook group for people who like working out. They start talking to each other more and more, and after being friends for a while, they become a couple. In the beginning of March, Lotta changes her status on Facebook to in a relationship, which shocks her friends and family since she hasn't told them about him before. When confronted by her friends and family, she explains that they aren't really in a relationship, but that he wanted her to change her status anyway. In the beginning of her relationship with this man, he woos her with flowers, lottery tickets and compliments, and Lotta is over the moon in love with him. However, the happiness does not last for long, and the first time he abuses her is in late March. Through their relationship, he abuses her countless times, and she documents every bruise on her phone, which she sends to some of her closest friends. As well as taking pictures, she writes about the abuse in her diary. Some of the things she mentioned are getting her ribs cracked, being kicked in the back, being punched in the face with a closed fist, and him threatening her to kill her by slitting her throat, shoot her, drown her in the bathtub, gouge out her eyes with a spoon, and that he would kill her dog. And this is just some of the things he did to her while they were together. At the same time this is happening, he is frequently talking to a girl he has named Snella, telling her that he wants to kill Lotta and punch in her frontal lobe. Lotta tries to leave Martin on multiple occasions, but he does not accept it and manipulates her into thinking that he has changed every time. Through their relationship, he tries to control her by shaking her phone and computer wanting to know where she is at all times and wanting to decide who she can be with and talk to. For every day that she spends with him, she gets further away from her family. In the end, she has barely any contact with her mother, who she was very close to before. May 12, 2016. Lotta's sister and ex-boyfriend calls the police and tells them that Lotta has said that a man called Martin is coming to kill her. The police call Lotta, who says that everything is fine and she probably says this because she is afraid of her boyfriend. May 25th, Lotta walks into the police station in Stockholm and says that she is fearing for her life and that she wants to make a report about her boyfriend abusing her and that she wants to get a restraining order. She tells them all about the different times he has abused her but eventually feels the need to stop and says that she would want to continue the hearing the day after. The police tell her that they will call her the day after when she can come in and continue telling them about the abuse. However, the police don't call her and therefore Lotta once again goes to the police and says that she does not want to continue with the report since she hasn't gotten the support she thought she was going to get from them. They convince her to at least think about continuing with the report, and Lotta leaves. The same day, she is offered a place at a women's shelter, but she declines the offer since she can't bring her dog Echo, who she is very close to. Lotta continues to think about the report, but on May 30th, she chooses to not go through with it, since she feels like she doesn't have the strength for it, and because she is scared that Martin is going to find out about it. On June 4th, 2016 at 5 a.m. Martin is on his way to Lotta's home and is caught on camera while in the taxi. 
He has been out drinking the entire night and before he arrives he texts Lotta, asking her why she is not responding to his texts and calls. Meanwhile, Lotta is sleeping in her apartment together with her dog. At approximately 5.10, Martin arrives to Lotta's apartment and knocks at the door. She opens and he bursts through the door and starts beating her violently. At 5.23, Martin calls 911, telling them that he has beaten his girlfriend and that they need to send an ambulance right away. When they arrive at the scene 10 minutes later, Martin is outside the apartment covered in blood, telling them that she cheated on me, what would you have done? When the police walk into the apartment and see Lotta, they cannot distinguish a face since it is so damaged. One police officer has later described the scene as the worst he has ever seen in his career. Lotta is rushed to the hospital and is put in a respirator, but dies on June 7. On July 22nd, the funeral for Lotta Rudholm was held in Hanusand, and all of her friends and family attended, as well as the Swedish singer Carola, who performed Lotta's favourite song. Martin Jonsson was in December 2016 sentenced to 18 years in prison for murdering Lotta and might be released as soon as in 2028 after serving two-thirds of his sentence. This was the case of Lotta Rudholm. Remember her and every victim of domestic abuse. Thank you for watching.